artificial intelligence is here to stay and it's changing the world around us. Online tools such as ChatGPT have the capacity to transform both children's learning and teacher's lives. So in this video, we're going to talk about what ChatGPT is, give you a tutorial on how to use it, and then talk about the process of planning and how it can support with that. If you want to delve into a bit of a workshop even deeper into ChatGPT and some of the artificial intelligence tools that can support with this, make sure you go and check out my workshop, which I'm going to link in the description under the like button, which will delve into all sorts of different tools and give you a much deeper insight. But for now, let's talk about what is ChatGPT. ChatGPT, the GPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer, and it's essentially a bit of a chatbot that you talk to and it spits out answers. Now, this is very different to Google because it does this in a chatty way, as the name suggests. You can do all sorts of different things with ChatGPT, but for now, we're going to talk about some of the ways that you use it, and then we'll talk about something such as planning. Now, I don't know about you, but reading, planning reading, is something that I find a little bit of a challenge. Firstly, you've got to find the text, then you've got to try and find the questions, the answers. It can just be a little bit of a time-consuming process. So we'll talk through that. To start off with, to access ChatGPT, we want to start off with this by entering it into Google, and then we'll be able to show you how to use it from there. So nice and simply, you can see I've already clicked on this already. From there, you're going to go all the way to the top to try so that you can open this up. There will be a starting process of signing up and making sure that you're able to use some of the services. You might sign up through Google or you can go through the manual route. It's pretty generic and you will have gone through this process of signing up to other things before. So this is what the system looks like and as you can see from the notification they are in high demand at the moment because this is extremely popular there's all sorts of different things that you can do with this such as a simple explanation but there are some capabilities to remember such as remember what users said earlier in the conversation sometimes it struggles to pick up things that you've said before although it does a pretty good job of that um, it sometimes is trained to decline inappropriate requests this is good because pupils are blocked from certain things there are limitations, so it can't obviously see into the future. And what that means is it's only kind of trained up to 2021-ish. Anything after 2022, it kind of struggles with. Uh, and it might sometimes generate kind of incorrect information. But then you will see that it might generate kind of generic information that you need to proofread and tailor. So there is a little bit of human intervention that's needed. But at the most part... Yeah, it's a great service. So let's start off. Let's imagine at the moment I'm teaching a topic. My topic at the moment is location, 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 like the TV program in the UK. And we're going to be exploring around the world, looking at all sorts of different locations. I'm a primary school teacher who teaches here in Dubai. So I'm going to be looking at the process of maybe creating a non-chronological report for Dubai. So in my new chat that I've opened, I'm going to click down here and I'm going to click um, can you create a non-chronological report that is suitable for year six national curriculum? Before I press the enter button, do me a massive favor. I make these videos for free. So if you wanna go and check out more videos, go and do that, but also subscribe to the channel to future videos. It's free to do that. You can always unsubscribe later if you don't find these videos interesting in the future. But yeah, please do that. It really helps me out. We'll start here. Non-chronological report that is suitable for year six. Now, you'll be able to spot already, it's gonna struggle with this because I've not put anything about Dubai. So yeah, <laughs> as you can see, it would be helpful to know the length of the report, subjects included. So, brilliant. So we're gonna put in, please can you write the report about Dubai and make it 400 words or so. Now, you don't have to be polite. I just kind of prefer to be polite. That's just me. Um, from there, I'm gonna give it a few more instructions, make it about Dubai and vision 2040 make it 400 words. I'm not gonna take or so out because that's quite vague. The more specific you can be, the better. And it's going to go across and then we'll go through the process. Now, at the moment, it's a little bit slower generically kind of creating these things. And I think that is due to the demand on the website. So it can be a bit slower, but then from there, it will start producing it. 
you can see that already Dubai is an emirate in the United Arab Emirates. Uh, so it's giving me a bit of an introduction and straight away that process starts to be created. Now, I'm not just gonna let you sit and watch this being created in front of me. In true art attack fashion, well, here's one I made earlier. So one of the other topics I did in the past was a biography. Now I can of course find biographies online and create comprehension questions based on that, but why not make this do it for you? So I started off, can you write a model biography text about Roald Dahl that is suitable for year six in the UK? So you can see it started to produce it. However, I wanted it to be a little bit longer. So I asked if you could expand it into 500 words. So as you can see, it did that, gave all sorts of different information. It's all in chronological order and I can start to talk about that with the children. But then from there, we get on to the next prompt. So prompts are things that you tell ChatGP to do and it does it. So from there, I've got the text. Now, because I'm trying to be as efficient as possible with my time, I want the thing to create questions for me. Now, again, more specific you can be, the better. I could try and, you know, if we were doing all sorts of different differentiation, three different levels, I just wanted something that was differentiated, something for those children who need a little bit of an extra challenge. So I just said, can you create five differentiated comprehensions on this text? And it did it, five questions that are straightforward and then five that are a little bit more challenging. So what country, uh, what country were Roald Dahl's parents from? What was the name of, Roald, of Dahl's first published work? In what year did Dahl Dahl's career as a children's author begin. Uh, name three of Dahl's popular children's books. Now, all those questions are being generated and I can start to put those together as a bit of a presentation, sharing those with the children. But I was like, oh, actually, the, it's, it's meant to be an inference lesson. So can you transform these into inference questions? So it did that as well. And you can see, how do we know that Dahl's parents were from Norway and the questions and the answers would be in there? I'm not gonna lie, I didn't wanna start searching for answers and all those different things like that. So I just said, well, can you generate the answers for me? But more so than that, I want you to generate them in a table format. So that is another command that you can start to integrate. So all these questions then have the answers next to them, which is great because I can print that off, it's gonna save paper, um, and already we've got that. So it only did the first five questions, but I was able to backtrack onto the previous questions and show, can you do the same for the advanced learners? And there we go. Then I can put that together as a table on a Google Doc, print that off, I can print the questions off, and that is a great lesson that is starting. Now, I've not done this yet, but I wanted to try it anyway. And, and once I've created the resources, I'd like to kind of plan backwards, I don't know about yourself. I'd like to think about maybe creating a lesson plan for how you would teach inference about using biographies as a text. Now, it's gonna go back and it's gonna start creating, he says optimistically, a lesson plan. So now that we can see the AI is creating our lesson title, grade level, the objectives, materials, and starting to type out a lesson plan. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, this is more in depth than any of my lesson plans I've done for the last however many years since, since starting teaching, which is fantastic. Might perhaps do this if I've got an observation, but generally plans are quite short nowadays. So I can just start to consolidate this really uh, as it's doing its own thing. So this lesson plan is extremely comprehensive. Now, if I'm looking for resources and you're still doing these with your school, it's fine. Um, can you create, I'm gonna be really specific again, a three bullet points success criteria for this lesson. So you can see the bullet point success criteria has now been created. If I'm being completely honest with you, if I were planning this, this is a bit lengthy for the children. So what I've asked it to do is to simplify each point 20 words or less and as you can see it's done that I then need to review this I want to review the text I want to review the questions answers I want to review the success criteria lesson plan I mean personally I wouldn't use that much of the lesson plan but it's there the options of doing that are, are there and I think the most important thing to take away is the tools are here but the human intervention is still needed you're still going to need to proofread these things if you're going to use them with your class and I think that is just simple common sense but to kind of conclude and go over what we've gone through so far we created a text 
We then created the questions, we turned those questions into inference questions, we created answers, we put them in a table format. From there, we then created a lesson plan and a success criteria. And as a bit of a bonus, I've shown you how to simplify those things from there. Again, if you want to delve deeper into using ChatGPT with your classroom to make your lives easier and to make learning more exciting, make sure you jump into my workshop, which I will link in the description. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm really excited to see where this goes and how artificial intelligence develops over the upcoming years. If you want to delve more into future videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel and go and check those out. You can always unsubscribe to the channel in the future too. I hope you've gained something from this and I'm out.